everyone so this is the second video i'm making about booktubers my favorite booktubers and their favorite books and this time i'm going to be checking out brit from basically brit's channel favorite books i asked her what her three favorite books were and she kindly answered and this week we're gonna go through them and and see what we find will i like them will i not like them let's find out this week one of her favorite books she said was is the picture of dorian gray by oscar wilde this one i have already read and recently and more than once and it's A masterpiece and I don't think I need to reread this I just I know it's a masterpiece I know it's really good and it already proves Brit's good taste right from the start secondly she said one of her three favorite books was The Night Circus by Erin Morrison this one I also have already read but not recently so i am going to be rereading this book this week and giving you guys my updates and thoughts on it it's been a while and her third favorite book is daisy jones and the six by taylor jenkins reed and that one I have an audiobook because people say it's a really really good audiobook production so I'm gonna be listening to that this week also I feel this is gonna be a really good challenge and one that I'm really gonna enjoy and let's start into Erin Morgenstern's writing is like um, swimming in a fresh sea it's I had completely forgotten how it felt to read her stuff her writing makes even the most mundane things seem otherworldly and fantastic and special about 60 pages in right now and it's kind of meeting my expectations but even more than that um i as i said i read this a long time ago i don't remember much about it it it's kind of plotless but i like that and this uh copy i got thrifted and it's so beautiful i when i read before i tapped a bunch of things it's gonna be fun to relive those scenes and i'm excited
so I finished Night Circus and it blew me away again um, the writing is so melodic and the atmosphere is like everything in this novel and you feel really immersed in the story and you kind of forget everything around you just by reading this book it's it's something strange and really really awesome and when I first read it I gave it 4.5 stars and I think I'm gonna give this one 5 stars now in my second read of it I think so and yeah this is Brit's second book um, in her third three favorite books and five stars man picture of Dorian Gray five stars Night Circus five stars now let's see what I find what I think about Daisy Jones and the six So I started Daisy Jones and the Six and if you have nostalgia for the 70s or if you really like the 70s, this is the book for you. Um, it's about a fictional band called Daisy Jones and the Six that broke up for some unknown reason and the mystery in this book is why they broke up and it's written in interview style so you only get the interview um, with the band members and so far it's really interesting to get to know um, the, the band members especially Daisy so the audiobook is really cool in that way because of the way the book is written in interview you the production is really um catered to that so it's been really fun so far beginning but I'm starting to think this one might not be for me it's it sounds like a documentary about a band and it's like if I'm listening to a documentary about a band I really love I would be engrossed in it but it's a fictional band and they 
they're taking things so seriously about the way the band started and their personal lives and I'm not I'm like I don't care I I barely know these people I it's like a really detailed documentary that's what about a fictional band that's what I'm getting so far I am going to power through it and I'm going to try to finish it but so far I am not seeing myself liking this one unfortunately but let's see Daisy Jones and the Six and whoa, um, I don't really know what to say I just finished it um, I think the first half of it was kind of lackluster for me um, I didn't see the point in being so descriptive and um, getting to the lives of these people who I didn't know and didn't care for. Um, they were supposed to be this, this famous rock band, but they're fictional, so I don't, I didn't see the point. But after you listen because I was listening to the audiobook you listen to it more and more you get to get a feeling for each of the characters and it starts to create a different uh, feeling and you start to root for some some characters and it's like an image is created more clearly and um the second half of the book was way better um i i think partly because i was more aware of the characters and um they were more fleshed out in my head and also the things that happened um, I won't spoil anything here, but um, I think things finally started happening and in, it wasn't just a documentary about a band, it was something else. It started being something else, uh, more deep and more um, to, in the, to the heart of of each character and not just the band itself so um, in the end I ended up giving it three stars and yeah that's Daisy Jones and the Six I felt I didn't enjoy it enough to give it four stars and it wasn't um bad so i couldn't give it two stars so i landed on the three stars and that was the last book in the basically brits challenge that i made for myself so in the end they were all good books um i didn't love daisy jones as much as she as she did obviously but I can see how Brit would love a story like this because she has 
Rolling Stones uh, posters all over her house and stuff like that. So I get how a story like this would click with her more than with me. But yeah, so recapping. The picture of Dorian Gray, amazing, stellar, five stars. My reread of The Night Circus, awesome, gave it five stars too. And Daisy Jones and the Six got a three stars from me. And um, I think this was an awesome week of reading. And thank you, Brit, for the recommendations. I'll see you soon in a new video, and I hope you have a great day and awesome week. Bye.